warping towards legacy territory. You know, the marker for my backpack is gone because I cleared all my waypoints. But we should, you should at least detect the ship. But I don't think we, this wasn't where we lost the ship. I think it was the next jump. We we're towards the center, I think. All right, we're in legacy territory. Well, that's a really cool looking thing. Yeah. This um, this this uh system has a temperate planet, two temperate planets, and a temperate moon. That sounds like paradise. All right. So now from the sun, let's head towards the test buoy. So we are at the sun top, which means I need to head one AU towards the test buoy and warp. Well, point one AU towards the test buoy and warp. It uses one though. Yeah. And here we are back in the same sector where the test buoy is. Well, I don't see what the problem people are having is. I mean, it, it's just the same as warping to a moon. It's just, you know, there's no actual moon to lock onto. As long as you have a, uh, a waypoint in that sector, you can warp there. If you don't, just go into your, into the, what do you call it? The, not the control. The registry. The registry and just look for whatever the PO, not POI, but for your base and just mark it and boom. That, so, does, so does that mean we're going to put a base here? I don't see why not. I mean, unless you guys have any objection, I mean, I could always put it, you know, in one of the uh, things around this sun instead. I have no objections at all on anything. I mean, worst comes to worst, we'll just have to build another base, you know, <laughs> but... You left the Nighthawk on the Kai Moon 1? Yep. I'm looking to see if my busted ship is on the registry and it's not, so it must have lost its core. 39 minutes and 50 seconds, then we can spawn in the uh, the station. I'm going to put it right here, facing the sun. It should get, like, epic power from the, being this close to the sun, huh? It should be fully solar-powered. Um, but first, let's get rid of the test buoy. Because, you know, we don't need it anymore. That's the core. So I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah, it's just it's a just, core. I can't really see it anyway. And once we get the uh, station down, I think we're going to need to call it a day. Oh, all right. Wow, it's already 35 o'clock. Yeah. Time. We've been recording for quite a while. What, almost I, five or six hours? Or, 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 I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. About, about five hours, four and a half to five hours. I have four hours and 52 minutes recorded so far. On this recording, I've got three hours and 12 minutes, but I stopped partway through uh, uh, one of through the drone base disassembly. So oh. There's still a lot of dents on the ship, too. Yeah, but one, once we get Warriors. the base down, we can repair it.
your base that you're putting down doesn't have a um, repair does. bay? Yep, it does. Yeah, it does, but I'm going to be replacing it with a tier two because it only has a tier one in the base template. I think we have one somewhere in the cargo. Yeah, we do. And I'm going to need to build a teleporter to put on it as well because I didn't have one for the... Because uh, it. it would make it a higher level. You need uh, extensions now? CP extensions? Um, we shouldn't because I, I mean, I already used the... Uh, we had six large optronic bridges and I already used four oh. of them, so... Okay, so what I am going to need, I'm going to need a base teleporter. Is it okay to get out of my seat? Yep. Yes, go ahead. So I'm going to need a base teleporter that I'm making. We've got the base repair bay. In fact, we've we should have... Yeah, we've got four tier two base repair bays and a polarized hull shield that we pulled off of the drone base. We're not going to need to put it on the base because there's nothing in this sector, so. Go out and pop that core. Yeah, go ahead. Did you just pick all the stuff? As usual. I'm a very good farmer. Uh, the SOVs is still shooting their their drill turrets, but they're not making noises. Yeah, it's not actually doing it. It's just yeah. yeah. So uh, somebody wanted me to make sniper rifle ammo um, in the small arms ammunition. There are now uh, 15,183 uh, sniper rifle rounds. Where should I put credit cards? Uh, give them to me. I've been compiling them so that when we find a uh, uh, ATM, which, in fact, I, that's another thing I need to build for the base. I can put an ATM on the base, and we can just throw... If I can find it. Did I unlock the ATM? I don't think I unlocked the ATM. <laughs> No, I, I did unlock it. I just don't see it on here. I think I unlocked everything. I mean, I could, I could unlock everything. It's just, I've been, there it is. I've just yeah. been unlocking it as I need it, you know? Yeah, I haven't unlocked everything. That was a different playthrough. Because you can unlock everything and still have points left on it. They are eventually going to change that. They said they're playing, when they, when they, when they do their, uh, Character, I uh, like the. They're gonna redesign the character skill trees and everything, and actually make skill trees. Or they're planning on it. So. Two of my blueprints is considered to be exceeded a number of certain block types. Really? <gasps> yeah, probably. Did you have like six? Like six rocket launchers on it, or something like that. Um, I remember. I think so. Let me see. They wrote, they the grabbler. The grabbler mm -hmm. has eight. The grabbler has eight, and um, the heavy bomber, I think, has six. I think. I think it has four down. Reason. Yes. 
but but you now can put turrets on an SV. I think I've unlocked everything and I still got 2,449 points available. That seems like more than before. I must be missing something. Should be like an unlock all button. Right. Let's see, I've got all the weapons unlocked. Got all the base things unlocked. Yep. Damn, you got like over two, nearly 2,500 points. We need all the capital so, vessel. So. We started over when we had to redo the game again. When we switched to the swamp planet, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got everything unlocked and I've got 3,510 unlock points what? available. It's different. It, it's different every time. It, it, it always is because it, there, it's not a uniform amount that you gain. It's, it's ridiculous. Really? I think, because like, the last time I did that, I think it had less than a thousand points available. That weird. I didn't know you, you gain it differently each time. Because it's not like you're doing anything different when you gain it. Right. You gain a level, you get points for it. It's like, okay. Unless they keep tweaking that number every version of the game or something. No. Right. So we've got 30 minutes before the uh, blueprint is ready. What do you guys want to do in the meantime? Dance. I can't dance. I can bounce. I'm actually uh, just stocking up on ammo and stuff like do we have individual oxygen tanks or no you mean the stations to refill no the little like emergency oxygen containers to fill your suit up if you want um i don't know because there were there's none of the small ones that you can get from like uh Whatever, but if but if you wanted to say make some out of water with your your suit constructor, I don't see a problem with that. No, no, I was I was just using the O2 refill thing. I was just thinking if I ever got stranded on a planet or something. What I do is I like to have Scooby Snacks and those emergency O2 sitting in my output of my suit constructor. Because it never spoils. Doesn't count for weight either. You know what I wish you could do? I wish they would let you, like, fly to a certain point in space between star systems. And, like, you could put, like, a, a non-star warp sector down or something yeah I mean, you know? technically you can if we could i mean you can't yeah i mean we can put space stations in orbit between you and the moon but i know what we could go ahead and do or go ahead and start working on um we could warp to one of the nearby sectors and start working on building a uh, the warp thing, the warp node. I thought that's what we're doing right now. We're waiting for you and your. Well, no, I was just going to spawn in the space station. I'm talking about go to another sector, 
like one of the nearby stars inside. that's, that's going to be mean inside okay. inside what do you call it inside the like well no i was thinking like warp back to uh zimitra and put a uh start building a warp node down in zimitra You know, the one where, so that we can start the warp chain back to Elyon. Just, I mean, we may not need it, but just in case. I thought this spot was going to be like the end point to that chain. Well, this spot's going to be on this side of it. And then the base we have in Elyon is going to be the other side. But we have to go to every star system, don't we? Well, every, every 30, every 30 light years or so. Yeah. You'd have to warp from one to the next to the next to the next to the next, you know, and and teleport from one to the next to the next to the next to the next. I see what you mean. If the Zemetra is only 24, and then from there to Zemador is 29.9, exactly. Yeah, we'd go to Zemetra and then Camahor back the way we came. That's why I tried to go the shortest route possible. All right, and these are just little tiny little things, right? Yeah, it'd just be little bases with a single teleporter on it. I'll go get his have a grab a seat. Well, that's an interesting bug. So you can turn the lamp on your suit, and then you remove your suit, and, and it's still on. Yep, yep. Yeah. They they've had that bug since they since the the they had the the shoulder light. Stamina recovers. So when you're sitting in the cockpit or a passenger seat, your stamina doesn't recover. Is just because the couches are comfy? Yeah, apparently, yes. All right, so if everyone wants to take a seat, we're going to do one warp, and I'm going to start working on a, uh, a midway... Uh, Station Builder. type Builder. teleport. I, I think I'm going to call it a teleport node. Um, a teleport toad. <laughs> teleport toad. It's a lily pad. Yeah, make it look like a lily pad. <laughs> Green. And we might as well just put it right here. Ship stops. There we go. I really wish we had access to the warp gate thing, those circle things like in Stargate. Oh, I know. You can make it look like that. But... Do I need to help or do anything or? Uh, watch them do it i mean you can watch or you can do whatever you want to do while i'm doing it i'm just going up the shuttle bay I, i'd like to make some bandages uh there should be some making up in the med bay if not you can go ahead and make up more found some on the poi i kept them this one's not parked right Okay. Where's the med bay? Behind the, behind the. It's on the star. Bridge. It's on the starboard side of the ship, behind the bridge. Directly across from the teleport uh, room. And feel free to give any uh, suggestions while I'm building. You know, where are you in relation to the Leviathan? Back of the front.
Uh, right now I'm in the... Uh, Are you still in the library? I'm in the constructor room. I thought you were outside. I hear someone's pitter patter. New hairstyle? Yeah, you're a ginger now. Yeah, because um, GRG likes it that way. Yeah, my hair's hey, red. hey, ow. <laughs> my hair is much more redder than that, though. I got my hair did for him. Then did it. I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him in the last ten minutes. Uh, I was looking for a place to sleep. Oh, all the bedrooms are used. No, I just doing. Uh, I just looking around at stuff and trying to learn how to navigate. Okay, if you're by the bedrooms, then you need to go back or no, go forward in the ship. No, I, I went to the med bay and I, I was looking in all the boxes and stuff. And unfortunately, I organized uh, one of the boxes just the way I like. But, you know, you can change it. You here now. <laughs> Baby, when you go pale green, you never go back. It's kind of blue to me. Um. Oh, you're in your PJs, oh. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. She's trying to entice me. <laughs> I'm off duty. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense now. Figure out. I don't know where he went. Oh, I went over to uh, what I thought was a teleport room and my locker's in here. Yes. Teleport locker room. Did you guys see that? Um, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but this is YouTube guy or something. He did a few videos or something. And it's uh, I think he's Japanese. And he actually took the time to remodel all the characters in this game. So now he actually has his own uh, custom template. Ooh. And his models look amazing compared to what that. these are. Ooh, I'd want that. For all, just the player models or for everything? No, all the player models. He did the, he did the, the male, the female, everything. And they look spectacular. They look like something coming out of Unreal uh, Engine. Nice. Including like armors and... Yeah, some Japanese, guy, some Japanese kid came up with that, and he's been doing it, but I'm not sure if, he, if he's released that openly, He's but he likes to show it off, though. All and the other and, and he made theatricals of the game as well. He played, he does the, all the camera panning and everything. He made an actual, like, a mini-movie out of his artwork, basically. Have you, ever, have you ever played No Man's Sky? Yeah, I have. Have you ever done the character creation for your avatar in that? No. Well, you get it's to choose. Much... You can choose like different heads and clothing yeah. and stuff. I wish we could choose to be like an alien race instead of human human. You know oh, what I mean? Definitely. You know, I had that what? expectation when I first started this thing because I saw all these years. I'm thinking, I do not want to be a human. I want to be something else. It's human suck. Yeah, I want to be. I want to be just like the the Zen, the Xerox or the Talon aliens. I like those. Because right now these figures look like a bunch of potatoes walking around. It's terrible. I just want breasts and butt sliders in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. 
Here. Alright, sick bay, constructive room, shuttle bay engineering. Well, that, so yeah. where, 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 no, no, where is, where's the bridge from here? Behind you. The way I'm facing. There. Just follow the signs. Look. <laughs> bridge. Red in red letters. He, need, he needs to add, like, another seat or two. Uh, and why right here? Why aren't these turned around, like, facing in front? Been around and look anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Just curious. Hey, hey, Craig. Guys, hey, you... hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Just looking down at the captain. <laughs> Do it. Sit in the chair. Get it dirty. <laughs> Your butt now. Oh, oh, he's moving the ship. Okay. And I don't have my pack or nothing. And I am fucked. I'm dead. I I'm naked, and uh, now I'm stuck somewhere internally in the ship. Without my suit on, because I wanted to be in DJ, just like everybody else. And I'm dead. You're gonna have I'm to. Gonna... You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to move the ships, so I can get out of here. You told me to get in the seat. This is what things happen. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh no! How am I gonna get my suit? I'm still falling because of the ship's gravity. It's all right. And you weren't in a suit? No. Because I wanted to see how I... And 105 health left, 75 left. I'm too cold this close to the sun, are you kidding me? Yeah, right. Dead. Because science. It says I died due to lack of oxygen instead of dark killing me. Because the game doesn't know. Well, actually, it would make sense because, see, you right saw here. my you saw my avatar. You were breathless, and then you died. I'm gonna kill him. Where is he? <laughs> He's by me. Actually, I gotta go get my my friggin stuff. GRG's backpack. Where's mine? Hey, mine's only like 400 meters from the ship. Yeah, I don't see mine. I figured I could just fly out here and get it, you know, without a ship. <laughs> I'm doing but I can't, I don't see mine. <coughs> I see you. Yeah, but I don't see my backpack. You have a tendency of losing your backpack a lot, don't you? I wonder why. I don't have a scanner. Did you fall down? I felt just like you did. But I don't see my backpack anywhere. Do you have a detector? You can probably find it. Uh, no, I don't. I'll get in my ship. I should be able to find it with the detector. Well, I'm looking for it right now. I got plenty of oxygen on me. I don't see my backpack anymore because I picked. We'll see yours. Right? No, I don't well, I doubt it disappears that quickly. It usually has like what a twenty-minute timer or something. Uh, usually, but you know the game really hates frag a lot. Ease.
Oh, wow, he's really built this out already. Yeah, I was looking at that, and it was like, hmm. So now I, now I know what it feels like to get dumped. <laughs> oh. No worries. I just didn't think you were going to move the... <laughs> Living on the edge here on a ship, and I'm not wearing a spacesuit. Oh. Yeah, that'll be the last time I do that. <laughs> He lured us to kill ourselves. Hey, he should have not told me to sit down. He told me, sit down, go do it, sit down. I'm like, okay, if you ask me to. What was it, the words exactly? Sit down and make the chair really dirty? Yeah, did that. What was your butt? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't see my backpack anywhere. I should be able to see it from the ship. You sure it's not clipped with the ship? Because the thing is, after the ship was moved, I did. I did, I did roll the ship in the bay. I did roll the ship backwards. So maybe I'm running. I ran it over. Maybe. No, because I didn't. I, I didn't die when I left the ship. I died like a minute afterwards. I thought you were inside your suit. How? How? I didn't, how can? You We all I know, back. all I know is, if you didn't move the ship, my backpack would be somewhere internally inside the ship, because I was trapped in this open space area in the ship. Yeah, my stuff's gone again. Oh well. Please tell me you didn't have an epic anything. My other backpack. Yeah, not did. this time he didn't. <laughs> I still do have one more epic weapon I have in my storage, but it's it's the pistol. It's like, eh. Is it faction yet? Uh, not yet. There we go. How do you actually get into it? You teleport into it. Because all it is is a place for you to teleport into and, and then teleport, teleport out. out from. Is it airtight? Yep, yep. It's kind of pretty. All right, let's test it out. Ooh, me, ooh, me. I want to be a guinea pig. Okay, let us know if your head's on backwards. What's it called? Uh, teleport node one. Why is the, why is the SOB crooked? 
Is your park get weird? Uh, Dark felt like dumping us into outer space because he's evil. Yes, for me. In my defense, I had no interest in sitting on the pilot seat. <laughs> It's not showing up in the teleporter list. No. It's... Well, that would be because I haven't factioned it yet. But I mentioned it. You said it was. Oh, well, uh, did I? I, I so said I was going to, I I said I was going to, and then I forgot. So only he can teleport to us. Now, keep in mind, there is no gravity there. So... Uh, uh, I'm just curious, like, when I play the vanilla game, you actually have to go to the teleporter first before you can use one to use another teleporter, or that's not the case? If it is your faction, if you place it, that is not the case. Vanilla, we're not playing mods. I think Dark just killed himself. Nah. All right, let's test her out. I'm already here, and I'm doing it suitless. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much room is in there? Can we all fit or no? No, it's claustrophobic in here. I mean, yes, we could all fit in there. There's enough room. It's just... Yeah. All right, I am about to level out the Leviathan if people want to get into a seat real quick so they don't go flying into where, space again. Where, where, the station here. Are you just going to leave it on? It's not going to turn itself off or anything? Um, the, the teleporter turns off, but it's 100% solar powered, so there's no need to. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because it is literally getting 100% of the power from the solar power. So, I'm, sit I'm sitting down. Well, there's an, a non-docked ship in the Leviathan, so I'm going to have to go try to find it and dock it. Look at mine. It might be me. Was it? Uh, no, it was the scavenger someone failed to dock. You used it recently. No one. What's a scavenger? That how do I teleport thing back? I don't worry. How, how do I use this thing? So long as you came here. Use it and tell it to teleport you back here. Same way you used to get there. On the left side, you got to make sure you're on, you're on the right system, though. Yeah, no, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to get the actual, the part where you touch the, the teleporter so you can get the option, but I can't find that one spot that allows me to bring up the menu. I don't know, I just used it. I'm back at the Leviathan now. Ah, uh, see, there's a little hitbox, it's very small. <laughs> well, I heard it. No, I'm teleporting to it to test it out. If you're sitting, then I can level off. You, you're getting the same thing I, I am, or, or what? No, oh, it works I... just fine. It's just that uh, I had a spacesuit so I could level myself off. Oh, really? You can't level yourself Who's off? Who's moving the ship? Yeah. Leave the ship where... It wasn't me. I'm in a teleporter. <laughs> it's not me because I'm outside the ship now. I told you I was going to level the ship off. Well I, well, I didn't hear that because I was teleporting. <laughs> you teleported. You said you were checking it out. Yeah, I teleported and then I tried to teleport back and then I teleported back and started getting all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> wibbly wobbly. Tiny wimey. Uh... There's air in that place. Yeah, there's air in there. 
just turn that off really quick, just to make sure. <laughs> he'll, no, he'll still be able to teleport back. It doesn't need to be on. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, but now you can't go back. The, the system the system is broken. Well no, because you see it allows you to teleport to an offline teleporter, but not from. It'll also allow you to teleport to a teleporter in a base that's shielded, but not from. You have to turn off the, the shields so really? you can teleport. I didn't know about the shield thing. Yep, but that but that's okay. why I've got this base set up so that when the uh, teleporter comes online, the shields go offline. And when the teleporter goes back offline, the shields come back on. Take that seat when you're on the other side. Okay, where's GRG? Ah! <laughs> where's, I, I didn't see. Is he dead again? No, you only get you only get me once on a move. I actually got a suit on with an EVA now. <laughs> All right, let me save this as a blueprint because this actually I like the way it looks. I like the way it works. So we'll save this as our teleport node. It's got one thing. I have a question for you, Know It All. How come this one still says it's off? What what's off? The teleporter. teleporter. Turn it off. Look to your right. There's a switch. Oh, he doesn't have it set up with a a thing. The detector, or a, no? What are you talking about? Teleporter. I'm looking at the teleporter right now. And it says it's not active, the one on the, the Leviathan. Right, because it's not active. Turn. Did you turn it on? No, unlike other people, I do what I'm told. <laughs> yeah, There's a switch in the wall. There's a switch yeah. in the wall that turns it off and on. Tell, so, see, it says teleporter offline. Then you flip this, teleporter online. Oh, okay. And then when you stand on it, it comes on. It actually comes on and off with this door. So when you come over here, it's online. Now it's offline. Okay. I thought there was a sensor in the bottom. Of it. Nope. This one I did not put a sensor in because the bottom portion of it would be going into uh, a different part of the ship and made it look weird. So I used the door instead to activate it, which is why when you teleport back, it's offline and the door is closed. Hey, um, know it all. Have you seen the guy who did all the uh, LCD work? Um, I've. Seen, you mean the German guy? I, I've heard of him. I haven't looked a whole lot into his stuff. I used it. I no, actually used it on my playthroughs. No, Spans did a, a a little video on some must-have blueprints. <laughs> And one of them was uh, set up for, you could uh, copy and paste for the um, LCD screens, and they got like all kinds of cool features on them. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Um, so in the uh, blueprints, I click on the small shipyard, and it says base spawning not allowed in this play field. <laughs> what? Yeah, That's a lie. That's a lie. They build it from scratch? Well, we, we, we were going to go to another system anyway, but all we have to do is, uh, where are we going? Hatoto. Um, all we have to do is just go to one of the planets and I'll build the space station there. Weird. But uh, this will be the only teleport node this close to the sun, apparently. <laughs> so, of course, they update or change it and then it'll be not good. So you can build, but you can't spawn a blueprint here. Yep. Mm. All right. So uh, once GRG sits down, we'll head off and set the base up and then call it a day. What, why wait? <laughs> I've only been dumped now three times. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't mind. It's all good fun. Until someone dies.
Yeah, it's all in good fun until someone dies. Then it's hilarious. Yeah, I know. I'm sitting down, by the way. From the bottom, the Leviathan looks gold. It's all shiny. <laughs> Not anymore. You know, it's butt does. Golden butt. Look at that. Must be a golden sun. Actually, it's red. So do you think this teleporter will still work in its current location after we get out of here and come back? Yes, it should, because it's uh, it doesn't take into account buildability if, like, it, 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 yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Um, all right, I can't spawn this base in this, uh, like, on the sun system, so let's go... <sighs> I'm wondering if we should do it in orbit around Umai or Umal, or if we should go to one of the other space sectors nearby. I'm thinking this empty sector, Eurobi Iota. Because it's closer? Because it, yeah, it's, it's the closest of the thing. So I'm going to head there. Yeah, so this is 4-3. Gorui Pi is slightly further out. Yeah, there's two that are within 5 AU, and that's all that really matters, but I think this one's closer, so with its solar will work better. Right, that's what I was thinking too. Where is the sun? Behind us. All right. All right. So if we basically stop right here and spawn it here, I'm literally detecting nothing from this point. Hmm. So. Oh. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Even the asteroids, none. All right. So oh, we are in dead space or something. Empty space. It's an empty. It's a. It's a sector that was called empty space. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It is empty. Yeah, I know about these systems. They don't have anything at all. Although I'm quite curious why they would make a sector like that. It makes you wonder what the developers um, are thinking about doing with it. We can do something with it, maybe. All right. So the sun is this direction. Spawn the shipyard. Yep, I'm going to want to be facing that direction. So let's do this. Where you are, but I'll find out when I see it pop up. It's not very big, though, is it? Oh, no, you're doing the shipyard. Yeah, it's going to be big. I already this. Okay. Faction. Come on, you really don't want to use that, do you? This is so we can repair the Leviathan. I'm calling that... it Legacy Station. Oh, cool. Okay, we're going to start pulling stuff out of the Leviathan into here so we can repair it. Let, let me Part go ahead and park it. Little... Yes, please, and put a lock code on that, would you? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, Frag, where are you? <laughs> Say what? Base. Oh, you're already on the base? Uh-huh. Okay. Are right, we going to keep you. staring at that door on the port side open the whole time? Close it. Oh, you want me to spot you? Get a spot. I'm just curious. How come you don't have like a? Ooh, that's weird. How come you don't have like a stopper block so that you can bump up against two? Uh, so that you can go in or out either direction. Oh. Too far ahead. Back, 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 back. Okay, stop forward. 
Stop. Uh, touch forward. That's too much. Back a touch. Yeah. A little more. One more. No, a little bit more. Okay, go. Yeah, there. To go to your left. Okay. That's not bad. A little bit more to your left. Just a smidge. And then down. Well, I'm as far down as I can go. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And okay, then back up slightly. Just tap it. Assuming you're not docked. Well, actually, SVs don't dock. There we go. Perfect. Because remember, this station I made specifically so you could. Yeah. Yeah. So that you could land it and walk. And this should be perfect so that I, you can repair it while it's docked like this. So it should be. It should be. I, don't, I, I can't guarantee that, but it should be. I wonder how quickly the solar panels charge to full. I don't know, working but the they're already, let's see, they're already at 8% and we just spawned it in, so. In the pair data, of course, there's probably people in the ship that won't do it. It says, only need, we only need 15 iron ingots. But that's just to repair blocks. I don't think there's any missing blocks. Uh, we need to put oxygen in the station. I can do that. Um, okay, now we are over on CPU efficiency for some reason. Uh oh, must be the teleporter, I guess. Yeah, I just put the teleporter in. It's not that bad. Fill on air. Oh yeah, we're not that bad. It's 96. Okay. Um, I am, however, going to see if I can fix that by taking out one of the constructors here. Oh, are we two, three? Hold on. How far over are we? We are 12,597 over, and yeah. Constructor. There we go. Now we are under again. Cool. Yeah, the constructors were 90,000 each. Or no, total on seven. Uh, constructors, it says seven constructors, 90,000. That's including the furnace the, and the, uh, deconstructors. And the food, I think the food constructors too, right? Uh, no, those are listed separately as... Processors. Yeah, I think. Okay. They may be listed as under the constructors, I don't know. But regardless, right now we are full, fully, uh, uh, what do you call it? Someone fully solar powered. Uh, we, did you put any oxygen in here yet? Not yet. Well, you didn't start the oxygen. There we go. Okay. So we should be good. Iron ingots. Um, we don't have any yet. Say what? We don't seem to have any iron ingots in the input. We have a lot of iron ingots in the thing. Okay. Uh, Leviathan. Oh, yeah. oh. I, you've got it. Okay. Yeah. The moment I closed it, I saw it in my 
in my vision. We only need 15. How come cargo boxes? Why do we only have 500? We we had over a, we had 4,000 of them. I don't uh, know. Maybe you I made, used them. You you made an awful lot of ammo there, Noto. That is true. I'm not disputing that. Base and another base. So right now, there's someone inside the Leviathan, which is why it's not going to repair it. Yeah. It's dark, no, probably. Not me. I, I was looking at the teleport thing. It says X-I-T-R-I-M-A Suntop. It's 24 light years away. Say what? That's, that's the name of the uh, system. Yeah, Zamitra is the... Uh, Wait, it's the name of the sun where we uh, put the teleport node. Do you want me to try it out? If you would like to. Ah! <laughs> There's no gravity there. And you're back. Oh, no. I, I, I look like Jello. Yeah, the ship's preparing. And it's done, I guess. Unless you teleported into the Leviathan. No, I, I went into the Leviathan's area. I'm replacing the uh, repair station with a Tier 2. Okay, I'm seeing the ARVN Legacy Station. Yep, Is that's that's the one. The one you just came from. Hey, Craig. Yeah. I need you to I need you to come here a second. I need you to remember me as a hero, okay? <laughs> yeah. He sacrificed himself. He just what are you doing? I'm still in his PJs. I can put the place on lockdown. He couldn't do that again, but it's too late now. What's he well, doing? He well, jumped yeah. out of out of the out of the back of the base for the gravity. His gravity's on. Okay. But he's not in a spacesuit, so you can't jump back up. There he is. That's why you have to remember me as a hero. The naked hero. Hey, let's show him the lockdown. Don't stand there. Give, oh, I know that. The... I've, I've seen the lockdown video you showed me. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. That was offline. I forgot. Is the ship done repair? Uh, not really. He's being stupid. It's miss. Apparently, it's missing something with copper and silicone. But I think that's yeah. that's just because I didn't save the template again after we modified things. So I'm not going to repair. I'm just repairing the parts. That hooks there. I'm teleporting to the Leviathan real quick to save the thing. Do you have a master switch to turn things off, or do you want me to go around and turn off like the food processors and stuff? Yeah, the space station doesn't matter. It's just solar powder anyway. Yeah, on the space station, it doesn't matter. Okay. Got a furnace. We have a furnace. All right, so I've got it set up. It should repair our ship while damaged. Everything should be good. Yep, we got a furnace, a gravity generator, food, 
everything we could need on this base. Just if our ship gets destroyed, you know, we can come back here and repair it. Or if it gets damaged, if it's destroyed, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So we have to keep the Leviathan always going. If not, we're going to end up spending our rest of our days on this station. <laughs> Until we starve to death, yes. I got, I, got, I got dibs on Dark. I'm going to eat him first. Yeah. You need to, in that case, you probably might need a, a, cont a contingency plan just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, the contingency plan is to set up this teleport uh, node uh, chain so that we, if we do and we have to spawn back over here at this base, we can teleport back to Elyon and start from scratch. <laughs> Okay, so that's not too bad then. Not really on, no. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to start on a on a solar system where you haven't pillaged it to crap, or no? Well, maybe. I mean, we'll once we get to Elyon, we can actually spawn in something smaller. Um, but yeah, but we'll figure all that out later because uh, that's gonna be it for these episodes. Yay! We have several episodes that we just recorded, and uh, it's it might even be good enough for two weeks for me. But uh, we are going to be playing again next week. So, But in any case, I hope everybody enjoyed the episodes. If you did, smash that like button for us. And uh, if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe to GRG3D, Fragalot, and Know It All DM. I don't think Dark currently has a uh, YouTube channel going, but... Uh, if he sets one up, we'll throw it in the description down below, too. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. As always, I'm Know It All DM. And Frag a lot. Say your name. Dark. And GRG3D. And as always, y'all have a good day now. Okay, so the last question I have for Know It All is one noontime or one o'clock on Mondays? Uh, usually we do it noon on Mondays. Okay. Again, I died. I don't have any of my stuff. <laughs> Again, Fakuda. Okay.